What's up, everybody? Dan the Man in the House. I want to welcome you back to Dan the Man's Weekly. Today is Monday, January 15, 2018. Yep, we have so much to talk about. And as you know, today is Martin Luther King Day, where we honor and celebrate the life of the civil rights activist and Nobel Prize winner himself, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Get this, I'm about 8 blocks away till 400 episodes. <laughs> nice. And we're about less than a month away till Mardi Gras and Valentine's Day slash Ash Wednesday. But I cannot believe this. Now we got Mardi Gras on the Tuesday and now the next day is Ash Wednesday which is Valentine's Day. That's weird <laughs> because um, five years ago we had three straight days. Um, Tuesday, the February 12th was Mardi Gras, Wednesday, February 13th was Ash Wednesday, and Thursday, February 14th was Valentine's Day. Yep, three days and five years ago, 2013. <laughs> That's weird. All right, there's plenty to talk about, so um, we're going to go ahead and switch gears now. Um, let's go to the um, eighth birthday tribute recap from yesterday. Um, yep, the 8th birthday tribute is to Bianca Carrasco. She's a comedian, poet, uh, EP Zone, and she's shipping off to Boston. La, la, la. <laughs> well, in case you know, the link's right down there. So if you guys have not checked out the 8th birthday tribute to Bianca Carrasco, um, please Check it out. The leak's right down there. Please check it out. You'll like this one. Oh, and uh, I should warn you, viewer discretion advised, it contains some adult language. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, foul, a couple of F-bombs was dropped and a few others. Yeah. <laughs> so be aware of that. Okay. <laughs> and again, um, Bianca, I hope you enjoyed my birthday tribute. So, again, happy birthday. And if you guys want the previous seven birthday tributes, uh, the link's right down there. Please check it out. And just a heads up, and just like I mentioned earlier, the ninth birthday tribute is still on the works. Yep, so again, a surprise. I'll keep you posted. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and switch gears now. On to the recap of the 75th annual Golden Globes. Yep, it took a different tone. So this time, um, this time it's about the sexual assault and the awareness and ever since the wake of Harvey Weinstein's sex scandal, if you know what I mean. Yep, it's that everybody everybody and all the activists appeared and this time they're taking the Me Too movement event and it's this time it's upgrading the Me Too movement and it's called Time's Up, which means to all you victims out there, time is up, you gotta step forward to um and come forward. Yeah, just like how the silence breaker did. And that's how it all ends. It's time to put a stop to all the the sexual assaults. And this time, if time is up, step forward. Come forward. And that's what we, and that's uh, my shout outs to the people of the Me Too movement. And yep, the Time's Up movement. That's right. And Oprah Winfrey did receive her Cecil B. DeMille Lifetime Achievement Award. And I gotta say, a tremendous, outstanding speech she did. And I gotta say, my big shout out to Oprah Winfrey. And and damn, and that's right. Time is up. It's time to step forward. <laughs> and there's some rumors saying that will Oprah Winfrey run for president? <laughs> that would be nice. I like that. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> 
Okay, and um, back to the Golden Globes Awards. Um, yeah, it was hosted by Seth Meyers. <laughs> and I like Gina Davis and Susan Sarandon uh, appearance for the for the uh, for the Thelma and Louise. <laughs> yeah, and three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri, winning four for Best Motion Picture Drama and Best Actress for Frances McDormand, Best Supporting Actor Sam Rockwell, and Best Screenplay. The Shape of Water won Best Director Guillermo del Toro and Best Original Score, and Big Little Lies got four wins, Best Miniseries for, and Best Actress for Nicole Kidman, Best Supporting Actress, and Best Supporting Actor. Also, Lady Bird got two wins, Best Motion Picture, Comedy, and Best Actress is Sarcy Ronan. And The Handmaid's Tale got Best TV Series and Best Actress for Elizabeth Moss. And The Marvelous Miss Maisel for Best TV Comedy Series and Best Actress for Rachel Brosman. Hmm, nice. And yep, we also got James Franco got his uh, got his win as as Tommy Wiseau and the Disaster Artist. <laughs> nice. Alice Janney got her got her win for supporting actress for I Tanya and who else? Gary Oldman for Darkest Hours and anything else. Um, Coco got best animated feature and let me see here. Yeah, and Aziz Asnari, Master of None. Uh, Ewan McGregor for Fargo, Sterling K. Brown, This Is Us, and let me see what else, what else, what else, <laughs> and, hmm, I guess that's it for now. Uh, if you guys want the complete list of the winners, um, just Google the 7th, 5th Golden Globes Awards, and uh, I'll leave the link right down there, please check it out, but again, congratulations to all the winners of the Golden Globe Awards, and thank you, Seth Myers. <laughs> all right. And again, a big shout out to Oprah Winfrey. Okay. All right, switching gears now. On to the recap for the best of 2017, uh, the City Magazine event from last Saturday. Yep, I gotta say, this is an. Uh, <laughs> Last Saturday was an amazing event, and I just got to say, uh, yep, they nailed it again. So, I got to say that the winners, um, I got to say the winners yet again is uh, DJ Johnny Cage, uh, Estella Casas, and Dr. J. Spielman of ABC7, and, and ABC7 yet again, best TV station, yep. Also, Lou Romano of CBS4, yep, very nice. Also, Balon of Casa Nissan, and among other wins. And also say congratulations to those who uh, won Best uh, best of the City of 2017. Oh, and that's not all. The best musician is always Joe Barone. Yep. And speaking of Joe Barone, he did an amazing performance. So did Frank Ray and Ali Esparza with uh, featuring Ryan Gonzalez of The Voice Mexico. Um, I gotta say, um, I had an amazing time. And the theme was the Winter Wonderland, which is, that's very nice. <laughs> Alright, and also I want to say a big thanks to uh, Shelley Moselle, um, Kimberly North, um, Chaz Wilson, and Taylor Hines, among others. And um, for those who want to say um, thanks for bringing yet another best of the best worth possible.
I look forward for next year's uh, City Magazine's Best of 2018. Speaking of 2018, we're going to find out who's the best of the best. Well, we'll have to wait and see. And also, a uh, big shout out, big thanks to um, the Make-A-Wish Foundation because all the proceeds goes, has, goes directly to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And very nice charitable event. Oh, and don't forget, I did a special edition featuring um, Shelly Moselle, um, Candelaria of the City Magazine. So, I uh, just want you to know, the link's right down there. So, please check it out, and you'll like this one. Man, I had a wonderful time. Alright, switching gears now. Let me see, where was I? The 306 Sessions is coming back. So this Sunday, Damian Wilde and Follix will be taking the stage at the 306. And next Sunday, the Grape Shapes and Gila Monster and the, who are the, the Genders. They're going to be taking the stage. So, and yep, Season 3 is kicking off for the 306 Sessions. All right, you guys do not want to miss it. And I'm looking forward for Bart Crow. Again, he's coming back to Las Cruces. He's going to make a performance at the Whiskey Dicks. So, and it's next Thursday, January 25th. Now, I am looking forward for that. Okay, switching gears now. On to the NFL playoffs. Well, it looks like... The, the divisions is over. We're starting the conference championship. So on the AFC, the Patriots versus the Jaguars. And the NFC, the Eagles versus the Vikings. So this coming Sunday is the conference championship. Only two of the four NFL players will go on and to face off each other for the Super Bowl 52, which will be in less than three weeks from now. So... Who's going to the Super Bowl? Will it be the Patriots or the Jaguars facing off against the Eagles or the Vikings? We'll have to wait and see. Just catch the conference game this Saturday. And we got an announcement. And just been heard, Austin Trout and Jennifer Hahn will fight again. <laughs> I cannot wait. So, so Austin, the Las Cruces boxing champ, Austin Trout, will face off. Uh, I forgot who who's his opponent, but um. And Jennifer Hahn will will defend her title. And yep, <laughs> can't wait. It's going to be this coming Saturday, February 17th. It's going to be at the Don Haskins Center, and it's going to be filmed for HBO. So I'm looking forward for that. But get this, Saturday, February 17th, that would be the same night as the Blake Shelton concert in Las Cruces, the Pan Am Center. But um, speaking of Blake Shelton, uh, according to this, there was rumors saying that the tickets has been sold out. But it's, I can't even confirm that yet, but um, I'm going to have to double check. So, man, it's going to be a tough decision for me. Will I, will I go to um, Austin Trout and Jennifer Hahn fight or the Blake Shelton concert on Saturday, February 17th? I don't get it. No, I don't know. I'm going to have to make my decision. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll make my final decision on the next day in the Man's Weekly, so I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, let me see here. Um... Uh, I don't give a crap. <laughs> okay. Okay, switching gears now. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Let's get right to... Yep, very bad news. Um, as you already heard, in Southern California, Calif and a mudslide has been affecting around the southern area, somewhere in the far west area of LA, probably the San Fernando Valley, and um, especially Ventura area and Santa Barbara area. But um, man, it looks like all the boulders are flooded and muds everywhere. Oh man, and it's just affected a lot of homes and businesses everywhere. 
and sadly so far 20 lives were lost four missing so and yeah so um my thoughts and prayers goes out to the friends and family of the 12 and i i don't know what happened with the four missing but my thoughts and prayers goes out to them also my thoughts and prayers goes out to the people and everybody who are affected at the california mudslides and yeah Oh, and get this, the, um, parts, the 101 freeway of the Ventura Santa Barbara freeway, uh, it has been closed between uh, Ventura and Santa Barbara. So, yeah, probably the mudslides were responsible for that. So, uh, for those of you in the mudslides area, please be very careful. Yeah, this is unbelievable. Devastating. Again, uh, my thoughts and prayers is out to the people who are affected by the mudslide in California. Especially my thoughts and prayers is out to the pe friends and family of the tw of the twenty. So sad. Okay. And now this has been. Yep, very bad news. All right. Um, let's go ahead and wrap this up. I uh, just want to say a big, 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 big shout out to uh, Shelly Mozell, Candelaria, Kimberly North, and Chaz Wilson, Taylor Haynes, especially Shannon Quarterman and Mike Mendoza as host, and the rest of the cast and crew of the City Magazine. Just want to say um, it's been a best, best um, 2017 so far, and <laughs> a great event last Saturday. And but I also want a big thanks to the Southwest Surgery, United Blood Service, Southwest Universities, Casa Ford, Nissan, Lincoln, Access Multimedia, uh, among others. And especially a uh, big shout outs to Make a Wish Foundation as well. Okay. And again to the City Magazine, thanks for bringing the best of 2017 event. It is worth possible. <laughs> Let's hope we make yet another worth possible for next year of best of Also, um, a big shout out to Joe Barone, the winner of Best Musician Band and the rest of the band. <laughs> also, Frank Ray, Elias Sparza, um, DJ Johnny Cage, um, Estella Casas, and Dr. Dave Spielman of ABC7, Lou Romano, CBS4 Sports, and Halone from Casa Nissan, Wyatt and Underwood, um, the K. Hay, among other winners of the City's Best of Congratulations. Also, a big shout outs to Dan Guevara and Monica Cortez of News Channel 9. Alright, also um, another shout outs to Mark Ramos. Hey, Mark, keep playing the tunes, my friend. Also to Loretta and Alex Diaz, Shane and Lizzie Martinez, China, Chelsea Meyer, Megan Harris, Jack Lutz, Keaton Allen, UTEP Soccer Number 15, Oscar Chavara of White Knuckles Production, um, Tiffany Menifee, um, Miss El Paso 2017, Lauren Silverthorne, and among others. Big shout outs to you guys.
uh, and especially uh, Robert Hugin as well. Oh, and don't forget, I did a special audition featuring um, Shelly Moselle, um, Candelaria of the City Magazine. So, I uh, just want you to know, the link's right down there. So, please check it out, and you'll like this one. Also, a big shout outs to Richie of the Barbed Wire Urban Mike series, Anthony Austin Brown, Adriana Lopez, also known as Adi Luna, um, Rachel Marie, Robert the Sepulveda, Andrea X, Stony Iron, Celia Aguilar, Jenny Robbins, Ross Fleming, Laura Corral, Liz Tina, Phoenix, um, Lyra Morrell, Kenny Granville, also known as Blessed Eye, Carver, Ernesto Torres, Danny Perez, Raphael, Counterculture, among others. Great performance at the B Womps last Tuesday. Okay. Uh, big congrats to Aunt Camille and John Plundo. They just had their third child, a baby boy, Brian. So, <laughs> uh, Camille, John, big congrats, Mom and Dad, and best to your kids. Big shout outs to Andrea Hudson Norton and her husband, Jake Norton. They just had their baby girl, Olivia. So, Andrea, uh, Jake, uh, big congrats, Mom and Dad. <laughs> big, uh, big congrats to. Tony, my old friend Tony Rodriguez, she and Gabby Ramirez, they just had their baby girl Victoria. Tony, Gabby, big congrats, mom and dad. <laughs> and to Jamie Zona and Bobby Baird, they just had their baby boy Wayne. So, uh, Jamie, Bobby, big congrats, mom and dad. <laughs> Also, I uh, want to send my sympathies to Ronnie Collins of Jupiter Junkies. So. Ronnie, I'm so sorry for your loss. My thoughts and prayers are with you and your family. Alright, let's go ahead and get the birthdays. Birthdays yesterday, um, Bianca Carrasco. Okay, Bianca, happy birthday. And again, I did a birth an eighth birthday tribute to Bianca, also known as Bianca Dogs. <laughs> weird. Uh, the link's right down there. Please check it out. You guys have not yet checked out the birthday trivia. Please check it out. Okay, birthdays today. Eric Bustos. Eric, long time. Happy birthday. Steven Rojas, comedian. Hey, Steven. Happy birthday. Tara Roy said hello. Mackenzie Prude, Robin Glover, and Brooke Owen. Happy birthday. Birthdays tomorrow. Chelsea Meyer, UTEP softball, number 25. Chelsea, it's good seeing you. Happy birthday. Roberta Mezzo Arruda, Roberta, happy birthday. Donovan Grant, Tracy Mushorn, and Lindsay Searden, happy birthday. Birthday's Wednesday, Tara Livingston. Um, Tara, long time, happy birthday. And please check out the Nosh located on Castellano Drive. Yeah, please, you'll like it. And Aaron Claire Leatherwood, Aaron, long time, happy birthday, best to your family. Christian Adams Graham, uh, Christian, happy birthday, best to your family. Rudy Gutierrez and Sandra Escobar, happy birthday. Birthdays Thursday, Otis Hicks, uh, Otis, uh, laughing my ass off, my friend, happy birthday.
Laura Tisher Mims, hey Laura, long time, happy birthday, tell Grandma say hello, best to your kids. Sabrina Conley, Sabrina, happy birthday, best to your family. Hannah Nicholson, YouTube Soccer number 28, Hannah, happy birthday. Myra Cruz, Nora Frias, and Billy Stein, happy birthday. Birthday's Friday, Sheila Ostos Hallenbeck. Hey Sheila, long time, happy birthday. Tell Bryce hello, best to your kid, best to Amelia. Joe Palladino, hey Joe, long time, happy birthday. Tell Courtney I said hello, best to your baby boy. Nico Ajemain, um, Nico, happy birthday, laughing my ass off. Vanessa Rosales Damian, uh, Vanessa, happy birthday, best to your family. Tell Rick I said hello, and best to your kids. Uh, Rachel Presley, Oscar Casas, Chris Vasquez, and Renee Evan, happy birthday. Birthday Saturday, James Pinado, a hey James on time, happy birthday. Tell Jonathan, say hello, best of the family. And Christina Hernandez, happy birthday. Hey, birthday Sunday, Jody Lynn McKinnon, hey Jody, on time, happy birthday. My best to your daughters. And tell Neil I said hello. Eric Mata and Claudia Munoz, happy birthday. Birthday's next Monday, Todd Bostic. Hey Todd, happy birthday. Tell Eric I said hello. Best to your kids and best to the rest of the family. Libby Ayala, Libby, long time, happy birthday, best to your family. Uh, Holly Cohen Mata, Yuta Soccer number 23. Oh, Holly, happy birthday, best to your family. Uh, Daniel Kimmelman, he's the front man of Fall to Rise. Hey, Daniel, happy birthday, my friend, best to your family. RJ Ortiz, RJ, happy birthday. And Ethan Thomas, happy birthday. And Natasha Bonnie, happy birthday. All right, birthday's next Tuesday. Emily Roof, um, Emily, happy birthday. Tell Frank I said hello, my best of little Mackenzie. Amanda Stroud, Amanda, long time, happy birthday. Ron Hall, uh, Mr. Hall, happy birthday. Tell Tess and Mrs. Hall I said hello. And Celia Aguilar, Deacon Hernandez, and Vincent Hernandez, happy birthday. Okay, that's all the birthdays for right now. Okay, I, okay, now you'll excuse me. Um, I got, I think I'm behind on picks, so I still gotta check them out. But I guess you already saw the picks, so, <laughs> alright. Okay, I guess that's it for now. Alright, alright, y'all have a great rest of the week. Um, I will see you either next Sunday, next Monday, or next Tuesday, whichever comes first. Alright, y'all be careful. Y'all know what to do. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Message me. Like my page on Facebook. Be sure to subscribe me on YouTube. Hashtag Dan the Man's Weekly. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, this is Dan the Man Tennessee. Signing out.